this man? We had to go out for toilet paper today, so we had to gear the fuck up. <laughs> Someone tried to grab the po toilet paper, but luckily Dan shook his spiky balls at them. It's the only time it's appropriate for me to have my balls out. Pretty much. <laughs> This is, I can tell you guys have been spent, been stuck at home way too far. Hey, come on. I'm seeing this among everyone. Everyone I know, I'm seeing all these videos on YouTube. Where people have been stuck at home way too far. It's like a new experience for them. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm more used to sitting at home than he is. So he's really starting to lose his shit. Well, it's not a matter of sitting at home. It's a matter of... Hmm? Why does Dan need a flail? I mean, need. That's a strong one. It's it's not a matter of of being at home. It's a matter of not being allowed to go other places. Because if you're yeah. just at home, you're like one day you're like, you know, I want to go to McDonald's. Night McDonald's. I want to go to the mall. Yeah, when, Night. when it's your choice, it's a whole different thing. But when you, you know, things are weird now. So we're working on armor for the cats <laughs> with spikes. And, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're armoring up their, their cat stroller so we can, you know, la la. add max out the cat stroller. <sighs> we're ready. He's got a flail. Ready. So on that note, it's, it's definitely getting. This is the new normal, and I hate it. Yes, Flutter Nutter. Yes, things are yeah. weird. Let's uh, let's let's get the um, the intro. Call me. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the world by the interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um. Not surprising that this week has uh, a, a bit of a theme again. Kind of, yeah. kind of, kind of an ongoing. I feel like we're gonna. I feel feel like we're gonna have a theme for a while. You know, like this is this is the new normal, and I hate it. Th this season of uh, of of what the fuck is wrong with you is gonna get a little repetitive. I feel sure. Yeah, it's gonna um, get a little dark. Yeah, this this is kind of like this is this is is, is kind of like that. Uh, the I'm trying to think of a good analogy, television show wise. Oh, this is oh yeah, this is kind of like that that season of Lost where they went back in fucking time, and it's frustrating as shit. I love that season when Sawyer and Juliet. I love that season. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, Why are we celebrating Hooker Ween early? I'm covered. <laughs> you uh, need to catch up. It's the fucking apocalypse. <laughs> Once we're done with social di distancing, Thunderdome starts. Start lifting. <laughs> Cardio. The only reason we're not having Thunderdome is because you can't kill each other from six feet away. Well, you can. You, you get you get creative with that shit. It's true. We should work on that. Get, get on that for next week. Get a get a pike, you know, yeah. a halberd. That's that's got some big old claymore. Yeah. All Social right. Social distancing Thunderdome. It's let's coming. let's start in New Jersey. Um, this is a special story. A lot. This is all right. The, the story itself is it's a lot of people who are violating the stay at home. Um, but one particular lady in this in this story stood out for us. Um, yeah, general, a stay at home order hasn't helped some people stay out of trouble. State Attorney's General Office on Friday released a list of alleged offenses by oh. South Jersey residents. Um, what? Oh, I lost you for a minute there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, anyway, um, who had been better off they stayed inside. The order intended to promote social distancing and curb transmission of the virus took effect 9 p.m. March 21st. But one day later, the statement said, um, let's see, where's the one? Oh, yeah. Most of these are kind of like 
oh, that sucks. But this one just sort of stood out to us. A Pittman woman allegedly tossed a Molotov, Molotov cocktail at a boyfriend's residence on Wednesday. It did not detonate, the Attorney General's office noted a statement. The woman, Carly A. Russell, 24, was charged with arson and weapons offenses. Okay. Not only are you going out in the fucking pandemic to start some shit, you are going full on um, Devil's Night fucking the crow with that shit. She gets it. She gets it. That is social distancing Thunderdome. <laughs> I mean, of course, your Molotov cocktail has to detonate. Did, did this half was this a was this an essential trip? I don't think this was a necessary <laughs> essential excursion. No, really, of all the of all the really, this needed to be taken care of right now. Right as you read this, someone in the chat said, I need to have more faith in humanity. <laughs> Wrong show. Wrong fucking show. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what webcast you got lost from. <laughs> Bob Ross is here. on Twitch. Go to Twitch. Go to Bob Ross. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. Uh, the purge is not a LARP. It is now. It will be soon. Oh. Uh. But we we've got now this one. Oh god damn this guy. I, I showed you this one this weekend. This I, I tweeted this one. Uh this is from Calgary, Canada. And there's an old phrase. And I'm not quite sure the etymology of it. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how it how it works, but it's to be run out of town on a rail. Yeah. I I, I remember seeing in in Oh Brother Where Art Thou, they actually tied a guy to a rail and ran him out of town, which I don't think that's exact how it means. I'm not sure how it works, but I think it is appropriate to this particular instance. Um, I always assumed it meant you jumped on a train because that was the fastest way to get out of town. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird. But anyway. Oh, this mother Calgary subway location slapped with offering free mask. With sandwich purchase. I had to check. I checked this. When I first saw that, I went, someone photoshopped that. They're not. Oh, crap. Subway restaurant company says it has taken action against a Calgary franchise owner who posted a billboard outside the location offering a strange deal for customers. The sign set up outside Westerbrook Mall. Uh, no, Westbrook Mall. Uh, advertised a deal offering a free mask to any customer who purchased two regular sandwiches. Now, I wanted to, to direct you to the sign. Um, free medical masks protect you and your kids. Buy two regular sandwiches and get one free mask. So to protect you and your kids, you would need to buy four sandwiches. Well, to protect you and one kid, and one you need kid, to buy four right. sandwiches. If, if you have more kids... You're buying a lot of sandwiches. Um, so this is fun for the whole family because you get Subway and then you get to choose who dies. <laughs> and you get to play like Russian roulette. Like you spin mm. the foot long and whoever, well, the ends are exactly the same. So I don't know how you do that, but 50% of the family is going to die. I, it's now just taking take stock of what this deal means. It means that this guy, this franchise owner, has a large enough stash of protective yep. equipment that could be used by healthcare providers to keep them, you know, not sick and treating yeah. people. But instead, Which, yeah, people kind of need those right now. Okay, Ninja, Sophie, six inch choice. Oof. That's terrible. I love it. Um. Uh. No. It's it's just that that see, but that kind of sounds like a porno, though. <laughs> I guess that would be Sophie's footlong choice. <laughs> no, but th this is this this right here. I it just. He had this many, but decided to to give them away 
as Happy Meal prizes. Right. So not only are you capitalizing on Mm -hmm. a global issue that Mm -hmm. is, you know, very harmful and killing people, but you're also hoarding stuff that's desperately needed Mm -hmm. and then making money on it. Yeah, it's it's like every time that with one of these guys, it's like, hey, I came up with a brilliant idea. Why is nobody else doing this? This is great. Every single time, one of these freaking lug nuts. Because other people have souls. They think they're the fucking Isaac fucking Newton of discovering horrible shit to do in the name of capitalism. Yeah. Now, uh, and, and, and as for Subway, they say the corporation responded to the situation Friday morning. Say it is our said it has already taken uh, action about the billboard, adding it does not reflect Subway's brand values. All that happened was he took the billboard down. You need to lose your franchise. Yeah, they didn't take the franchise from him. Nobody ordered him to turn over his stash of protective gear. That also needs to happen. They just said. Hey, buddy, what you're doing? Can you just be quiet about it? Thank you. Just, I just turn it down a little. Thanks. So, um, so shame on fucking Subway because this, this should have well, been like the other side of capitalism puts him out of business because people just don't fucking eat there anymore because he's a garbage person. Yeah, seriously. Ugh. Well, this is, uh, the, the situation with the pandemic is bringing out I think this is a, this is a definite first for one of these stories um I am facing a situation right now I'm sure I, I'm, I'm engaging in one of my hobbies while this is all going on I encourage you guys to do the same thing um uh play with Photoshop write a book play the guitar so what, whatever just come up with something new to keep yourself occupied yeah um One of my problems with one of my hobbies right now is I'm building stuff, but to go out and get, you know, you get in the middle of doing a project, you realize, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. You've probably done this with painting yourself. I mean, you're like, oh, I need, I can't go get this if I'm out of a thing. Like right now I'm out of paint. I have to use gloss black. It's terrible. Um, So I've learned to improvise, to work around while doing my my, my little you know. MacGyver right business. yeah this is this guy could that will have, suit you well in the coming apocalypse this is <laughs> this dude could have learned from my um my my uh my my in, industriousness um wife found in car boot after man drives two hundred and twenty miles to pick up windows in coronavirus lockdown. The driver ignored the coronavirus lockdown and made a 220-mile round trip to pick up some windows he'd bought on eBay. The driver traveled from Coventry to Salford and back again to pick up some 15-pound windows. Do you know how much that is? That's about $25 U.S. That's about $25 U.S. He was stopped. Hi, Peggy. He was stopped by police on the M6 in Cheshire, where the officers discovered his wife in the boot because the windows had taken up all the room in the car. So not only was this, this is definitely a non-essential. Yeah. But... I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm home all day anyway. Why don't I redo the the den? Great. Yeah. But you gotta not be an idiot about that. Oh, you're driving uh, 220 <laughs> miles for some twenty dollar fucking windows. You probably spent more in gas. Yeah. But not only that, why did your wife have to come? Why did both yes. of you have to go? Why did you? And why was the best idea? Honey, I'm sorry. 
You're just going to have to get in the trunk. You're just going to have to ride in the trunk. There's no room. There's no room. Sorry, honey. Do you, do you want me to, do, do, I can run a really long USB cable to keep your, your phone charged so you can, you can watch your Netflix in the trunk of the car while we drive 200 miles. And in general, cars in Europe are not as big as cars here. No, they're not. They're mm. not into bigness the way no. that Americans are. Because they don't have room for shit. Yeah. And, you know, they don't have inadequacy issues in the same way we do. Mm. So their cars don't have to be enormous to show off their status. They all have, like, smaller cars. Right. So this was probably not, like, the trunk of a fucking Buick. I... Just, you know, if you're in the middle of a pandemic and the shit says local pickup only. Yeah. Pick something else. Which, you know, people in my neighborhood have been doing like the guy across the street's making his own hand sanitizer for people. Someone's like, oh, I ran out of this. Does anyone have it? Yeah, I'll leave it on your porch. Like local pickup is okay. Yeah. Just local. Yes. Low. You have to really just refine your definition of local. Yes. And also maybe if it's something so big, it's going to take up the whole car. Don't bring your spouse. Just don't go out at 200 miles. I don't drive to it's a freaking. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Why did you put your wife, you put your wife in and she agreed to this. Yeah, is the thing. If we ever went to pick something up and this guy was like, oh man, it's too big. You're going to have to ride in the trunk. And I'll be like, your body's going to have to ride in the trunk. <laughs> no. Get, get, just, nope. Nope. Yeah, she agreed to that. Yeah, uh, honey, no. We hope. We hope she agreed to that. We hope, yeah. And he didn't fucking tase her or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking morons. Oh, okay, now there's three of these. Three in one week. Of all the... I... There's a thing that children do. Small children. Very small children who have not formulated a language or, or anything else. In engaging with the world, they use all of their senses, and one of those senses is their mouth. They yeah, stay, they, lick it. they lick everything. They lick everything. They grab stuff, and they shove it in their mouth, and they slobber all, because that's how they're exploring the world. They don't understand. They're very small. We're talking two-year-olds, at best, are doing this shit, right? So why, when we're in the middle of fucking pandemic... Is this happening? Man licks deodorant at Walmart, posts on social media, then arrested. Warrington, Missouri. In another new twist to bizarre coronavirus stories, a situation developed inside uh, in Warrington when a man was arrested after he licked a row of deodorant at Walmart and shared the video on social media. Warrington police arrested the man quickly and charges are now pending. Warrington police and other law enforcement will take this type of situation seriously. So it's reminders for others in the immediate area to refrain from these type of actions during this tense uh, coronavirus pandemic or they will face arrest. We have to actually tell you not to lick things. You idiot. This, isn't, this was a thing even before the human malware. Yeah. Where, like, people were going into stores and licking all the ice cream, and, like, why is this a thing now? This started being a thing probably, like, a year ago. And mm. it's not funny. Like, I don't... If it is funny, I don't get it. Maybe I'm old. But, like, I don't understand why this became a trend. Like, Ariana Grande went into a donut shop and licked all the fucking donuts. Like, why? Why? Well, Tara, it gets worse. Oh. Yes. I don't want it to get worse. 
college student who licked an airplane toilet seat said she'd pull up and cough on Dr. Phil, who called her spoiled and entitled. Ava Louise, the aspiring singer whose TikTok of herself licking an airplane toilet seat. Uh, quote, I was like really annoyed that Corona was getting more publicity than me. The 21 year old blamed boomers for the coronavirus. Told Dr. Phil, I'll pull up and cough on you. Um, the 21 year old self described, quote, skinny legend held nothing back when she spoke with the TV therapist about her decision to use the coronavirus pandemic to gain publicity. I just don't think this is as concerning as possibly as it could be. Because I don't have it. I don't have symptoms. No one I know has symptoms. She added, she said, adding that because she went on spring break and Florida is still healthy, the disease can't be that serious. Ah, uh, the old American adage, if it didn't happen to me, it's not fucking real. This Also popular with <clears throat> men on Twitter. Listen, sweet <laughs> darling, little person. You're getting publicity now. You're not, this is not how you get a career in singing. Mm -mm. This is how you get to be president. <laughs> yeah. Wrong career trajectory. Wrong one. You did, you did the wrong one. I mean. And I don't, again, even if there wasn't a pandemic. You licked a toilet seat. Why? Like, why? I wouldn't lick my own toilet seat, and I know exactly who's sitting on it. Yeah, I mean... You, Let alone one on a fucking airplane, or any public place. I mean, you might not get the, the pandemic. You, what you might get is, like, the bubonic plague or some shit. Right, or E. coli, hepatitis. Yeah. There's a, whole, there's a whole cornucopia of other shit you might get. I mean, you won't be coughing, but you'll have blood shooting out of your eyes. Yeah. Th this is... Your anus will, in fact, be bleeding. I, I, I just it. All to be famous, like. I mean, it, do you need to be famous that bad? You're, you're not. No one. You don't get a career from from licking a toilet seat. You don't. You don't get a good. You don't get a good career. Um, you're a punchline. I mean, you might like, get a career in a very specific. Yeah. Niche of I mean, you're not getting one in singing, maybe on certain websites where you have right. to to pay up front for people to do things and across the camera. If that's the career you're going for, cool. Just yeah. use your own toilet. Right. And clean it. I, so, I just, we're not here to kink shame. No. Just don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Don't, don't, don't freaking. Ugh. Maybe, maybe we deserve the pandemic. But wait, Tara! Faith in humanity! Influencer reportedly hospitalized with coronavirus after licking toilet! That's probably not how he got it, though. California's social media prankster. What is the prank? I don't understand. Yeah, wh why is it funny? Why, why is, is licking stuff funny? What's the prank? Um, just days after posting a video of himself licking a toilet bowl for a nauseating online challenge, the TikTok personality, known as Lars, reportedly posted footage of himself in a hospital bed on Sunday. Uh, it comes just two days after the prankster, who goes on the social media handle Gay Sean Men Mendez, okay, posted a video of himself on Friday running his tongue across a toilet seat as part of a bizarre and widely criticized coronavirus challenge on social media. With craze seen mainly on TikTok, Spurs users to post video of themselves licking everything from toilets to grocery store produce. Why? Hi. You know, when TikTok happened and I was like, oh, man, I missed Vine. It's nice to have something like that back again. It's cool. This is some fun stuff. Um, I feel like that this was a monkey's paw situation. It was like, I'd really like Vine back. You know? 
my, my nieces are on TikTok and all they do is learn dances. They they're, just post videos of themselves doing dances. Are you sure they're not licking toilets? Yes, because I've positive. seen their TikToks. You're absolutely sure. Because, you know, I, I, this is, uh, th th this is the, the, uh, I mean, the platonic ideal of uh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Um, I don't understand the damn kids today. We did stupid things in our day. I know we did. But yes. I, it was, I'm not saying, you know, we're better than the kids these days. I'm saying I don't get it. I never licked anything. And we didn't have, I wasn't allowed to have video games. We didn't have the internet. Yeah. We couldn't watch any movie we want at any time on our couch. Yeah. Like... You could see a movie once in the theater and then wait two years to rent it at Blockbuster for two days. And we weren't running around licking stuff. Somehow we found other ways to occupy our time. And this, this is especially annoying because it's not even one of those situations of, well, they'll take themselves out. No, 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 no. They might survive. But in the process, they're going to infect other people who might not survive. This, I hate you. When this is all over, you should not be people. You should not be allowed to be people. Are we going to classify them as something else? It's something that, that does not... You're an armadillo now. Okay. Go to the desert. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to do the people things anymore. You go build a, build a cabin know. in the woods, which is where you deserve to be. Just find a place where no one else lives and you go live there. Because you're not with us anymore. You're a problem. We don't want you. I don't think you can do that. Why not? Damn it. Because it's kind of Nazism. Well, I mean, just... It's not like, you know, it would just go away. Well, I just want you to go away. Well, yes, you can want them to go away, but you can't, like, enforce them going away. That's a different thing entirely. I'd be, I'd be willing to give them, like, you know, every year a test to see, are, are, you, are you smart enough to be part of this society? You know? Still kind of Nazism. But they're licking toilets, Tara! Yes, and that objectively sucks of them to do. They are actually for freaking real spreading diseases. For actual goddamn real. This is not even theoretical. They are hosts to a disease. Please just go away, please. I mean, I would also like it if they would just go away to TikTok Island. That's what we need but to make. We need, we, you know. We can like politely ask that they all move to TikTok Island. Please go to TikTok Island. Please. You don't need that's to be. That's about the size of it. That's about all we can do. I don't want you to be here anymore. You're making me sad. Because, you know, I mean, it's, it should seem like one of the, the low bar is not to lick the toilet. That's yeah, it. You wouldn't, you know, like, <clears throat> in my 43 years, it never occurred to me that I would have to say, don't lick a toilet. But Let here, alone that that would be an admonishment needed by several people. Grown that I could see saying this to like like a two. Oh, don't do that. Get your mouth like, off of that. Like a two like year old. Your dog. Or your dog. Right. You can say, don't lick that. But like grown people, grown several people. of them. Can't say I saw that coming. But Tara, the good news is. It's not all horrible stories about the, the virus that's overtaken us. No, no. That's the good news. Um, because there's just... The, the regular stupid is still among us. Thank God. Really? <laughs> I mean, honestly, yes. Yes. Cops! Man ate bag of drugs pulled from his butt! Hey, you know what? At least it was his own butt <laughs> and not like a publicly accessible butt. For Jaria Rahim Wallace, a desperate time allegedly called for a desperate measure. The 25 year old Floridian, seated in the rear of a police cop cruiser after being arrested following a 2.40 a.m. traffic stop, 
sought to dispose of some narcotics on his person. Well, actually in his person, according to an arrest affidavit. A vehicle cam captured Wallace last month eating a bag of drugs he pulled from his butt. Pictured it right. Wallace then proceeds to eat the baggie with the drugs. When confronted by sheriff's deputies, Wallace consumed the baggie and then spit it out in front of a cop. The officer so you didn't him. swallow? Nope. Then they were going to find it. <laughs> the officer subsequently swabbed the defendant's mouth and tested positive for cocaine. The baggie's been sent to the lab for testing, charged with cocaine possession, providing a false name to cops and tampering with physical evidence. Wallace was booked into Pinellas County lockup. So, so the logic here, let me break this mm -hmm. down. The logic here is if they arrest me, they're going to do a cavity search. Right. I've got drugs up my butt. They're going to find them. Right. I need to hide them somewhere else. Right. So I'm going to put them in my mouth. And, right. Where they definitely won't check or notice my slurred speaking. Right. You made it easier. I, you got swallow. I just appreciate this dude in an act of desperation. Put something in his mouth that came out of his butt for no good reason. He's a one-man human centipede. <laughs> that is a take I was not expecting. I was not expecting that take. I just... He went ass to mouth all on his own. <laughs> For nothing, you, yeah. you, you failed the gambit. You they you, still they still found your drugs. They still did, but only now. You have butt in your mouth. You have your own butt in your own mouth. Look, I'm just I, after the last few stories. I'm just glad it's his own butt. <laughs> we're looking for the small mercies, is what we're exactly. looking for. Exactly, I'll, I'll I'll take it. I guess I, I guess the first thing this week we learned is if you're going in for a desperate plan, commit. You yeah. gotta commit, or it's you gotta for, go it's, all the way, or it it'll be all for naught. You'll 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 just. We've learned something we shouldn't have to learn. We've learned, stop licking things. Yeah, you're not too. Run around your house and lick all your stuff if you want. That's your right. You can, right? That's true. If that's Don't your lick stuff that's not yours. You got it. Yeah. Cuz, you know. Don't lick stuff that's definitely covered in diseases. Yep. Um to own the herbs. We've learned that uh local pickup only. Yeah. Got to get got to get a little granular on that one. Yeah. Local. local is a word that means a thing. Right. Local doesn't mean we're, we're, we're talking England. That's pretty yeah. far away because local doesn't mean England. Yeah. That's, <laughs> um, we've learned that uh, opportunistic scumbags should be run out of town on a rail. That yeah. motherfucker. Fuck your sandwiches. And finally, we've learned if you're going to take a Molotov to your boyfriend's house. Maybe put a pin in that until the global pandemic is over. Social distancing Thunderdome. We're going to set that up. I mean, it's going to have to be live stream because we won't be able to have an audience. YouTube probably won't monetize it. No. <laughs> But I bet all the toilet liquors would be in. They got no self-preservation instinct. I think, I, I think, Tara, I think, I think even the asteroid doesn't want to come anymore. Yeah. Like, we had one pass us really closely recently, and I think now we know why. Yeah, it's just like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Like, you know what? No. One of you bastards is going to lick me. 